Welcome. The world is changing at unprecedented speed. Every business and every individual must recognize what drives these changes and align themselves with these key trends. Look at the trends, take the known information, and then what are the implications of these facts and figures? There are two major revolutions simultaneously taking place. One is the longevity revolution. The other is a technology revolution. Information, communication, and biotechnology are in a state of revolutionizing life on this planet. So one deals with how big our life has become, longevity, and the other, how small our world has become, globalization, through technology. So the solution is understanding and aligning with the key trends that are impacting your career, your jobs. The first trend to be aware of is the acceleration of the sigmoid curve. Now, for those of you that have a little sensitivity around this word sigmoid, uh, I do apologize, uh, having uh, had my 50th birthday not long ago, I, I know this word has new meaning for me. But what this refers to is the speed in which companies, organizations, industries come together, form, rise to the top, and then fall from the top. Never before in history has this trend moved so rapidly. It's almost hard to imagine. There was a time in history that once you achieve that coveted position of being on top of your career, you could pretty much ride out the remainder of your career assured that you would stay on top. Today, I suggest to you, it is even more difficult to stay on top than it was to get on top. Every time there's a breakthrough in technology, it transforms the way we work the way we live. Something as simple as mailing a letter. Imagine there was a time it took over a month for a letter to go from San Francisco to Boston. Over a month. Today we have the U.S. Post Office, modern agency of the United States government. Last year the Post Office was proud to announce that over 98% of the mail was delivered on time. This year they're working on destination. The second characteristic, it applies everywhere. At the smallest end of the spe spectrum, your career. Your career is on this sigmoid curve. Human relationships, marriage. Never before in history have people met, fallen in love, gotten married, and then left each other, <laughs> as we're seeing today. At the largest end of the spectrum, nations. Who would have ever dreamt the end of the Soviet Union? The end of classical communism on this planet would be just what the curve talks about. It became outdated. What the Soviet Union refused to do was update, was to reinvent themselves. And we have to take a lesson from that one. And finally, most reinventions occur too late. Whether we're talking about your marriage, or we're talking about your career, or we're talking about the VA, the number one stimulus to reinvent is the recognition that something is going wrong. If you wait until something is going wrong, you've waited too long, because the descent has already begun. The ideal time for reinvention is while you're at the top of your game, in order to stay at the top of your game. First, let's look at this longevity revolution. So what might be the single greatest achievement of that century? I suggest to you, was the addition of 30 years to human life. We have now six living generations. By the way, it's very rare to find five living generations in a family. This is Sarah Noss. She has six generations in one family. Of course, Sarah's 118 years old. Her daughter, Kitty, is, a, is 95. Her little grandson, Bob, is 73. Her great-granddaughter, Kathy, is 49. Her great-great-granddaughter, Christine, is 27. And little Bradley, her great-great-great-grandson, three years old. Along with this multi-generational workforce, we have a danger. 
It's something that Yankelovich coined generational myopia, one generation perceiving and judging another generation through their own generation's values. This is the danger zone. People need to be educated and trained to understand that the generations are as diverse as the cultures are. The key to overcoming generational myopia is empathy. Empathy is that rare skill to see the world through another person's eyes. Now, in order to have empathy, we need to recognize the life experiences of another person. Now, sometimes we don't know other people personally. We don't know what their life story is, so we can't form empathy based on their life experience. We go to the next best thing, the generation's life experiences. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The generation's life experiences are called generational markers. I saw two kids. They were in all black clothing. They had I just shotguns two and rifles. These are the events that took place in the generation's formative years, their late teens and early 20s, that form their values. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. In the middle of our street. Two hours ago, Allied Air Forces began an attack on military targets in Iraq and Kuwait. Generational markers come in many packages. They're the events, the culture, the politics, the economy, the technology, even personalities. What your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And here's the big trend, the evolutionary role of women. Women are still known as a niche. It, you know, it's the women's market. It's this little minority group called women. By the way, women are the majority segment of the American population. At every age level, women constitute a majority. Since 1950, we've seen a progressive decrease in the percentage of men entering the workforce. And why haven't we noticed it? Because during that same time, there's been a steady increase in the percentage of women. Women have picked up the slack. Now remember I told you that women make up the majority, 51%, but look at, as we see the aging of the population, those gaps even get bigger. Women begin to take an even more dominant role as we get over the age of 55. By the time we get to age 80 and above, for every 100 women that are alive, there's only 40 men alive. Now, I happened to mention that to uh, a group of seniors at the Oakland Senior Center. There was a woman in the group who kind of laughed and said, yeah, Mark, and I've met some of those guys. <laughs> They're not quite as alive as you might think. Of course, that's a whole other seminar. <laughs> Currently, women are outliving men by almost 10 years in our society. Um, it, 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 there was a narrowing when women entered the workforce, but now that women have adapted to their new role, it seems to be widening again. So if women are going to outlive men in America by 10 years, does it still make sense for women to marry men 10 years older than themselves? Well, we're seeing a new trend. Women are marrying younger men. <laughs> As a matter of fact, in 10% of U.S. marriages, women are marrying men at least 10 years younger than themselves. So we may very well see the future of America looking more like this. <laughs> Baby boomers began retiring in 2011 and will continue at a rate of 10,000 per day for the next two decades. You do the math. America cannot retire this generation. And by the way, boomers don't want to retire. <laughs> you know, they're not tired of working. They're just tired of their job. Uh, Today, people are living cyclic lives. They may go back to school three or four times. They may have three or four marriages, uh, three or four careers. It has to do with the longevity revolution. We are living longer lives. In the old days, if you thought you were going to die soon, you know, life expectancy 47, 50, you're already winding down in your 50s. 
If you were 47 years old and realized to yourself, gee, I'm in the wrong job and I married the wrong person, you thought, what the hell, I'm going to be dead soon anyway. <laughs> That's the secret to predicting the future, is to look at the trends, take the known information, and then what are the implications of these facts and figures. Mr. Mark Goldstein, president of Impact Presentations Group, an original co-founder of AgeWave, is one of America's most sought-after speakers. Over the past 30 years, he has presented his research-driven and highly entertaining multimedia presentations to well over one million people. He addresses the major social, business, and workforce trends impacting today's marketplace, as well as those emerging in the immediate future. Mr. Goldstein draws from three decades of research, knowledge, and first-hand experience to help participants align themselves with these trends in order to maximize their opportunities.